What's up? This is Hayden Jones in association with Hot Boxing Talk and the SA Boxing Buzz. Welcome, Maruti. A fight at last after no action in 2016. Tell us more about how difficult it's been waiting and having your fights cancelled. Mm, yeah, for sure. It was very difficult here for me 2016 because all my fights have been, been cancelled. I've been training the whole year last year, but uh, I didn't get a chance to fight, you know. But uh, all that the past now. I'm looking forward to my next fight. That will be happening uh, end of April, 28th April. Okay, uh, yeah, so let's talk about your fight. Yeah, as you said, it's happening on the 28th of April. Mm. Who, who are you fighting? Mm, on the 28th of April, I'll be fighting a guy from the Philippines. His name is Genesis Libraza. So I'll be defending uh, my world IPO flyweight uh, title against him. Yeah. Again. In an ideal world, how often would you actually like to fight? So how many times per year would you, would you like mm. to get in the ring? According to me, as a world champion, a professional boxer, if it go on my way, I will fight three times every year. Three times will be good for me, beginning of the year, middle of the year, and the end of the year. Mm, yeah. I'll be happy if, then, if that can happen. Yeah, sounds good uh, for, for 12 rounders. Yes. Um, I'm sure there's many people who want to watch you uh, fight. So where can, they, where can they watch you fight? Mm, the fight on the 28th of April is going to be in Johannesburg. Then Tarfontein Wemdi Stadium, so it's gonna take place there. Mm, and uh, I think I'm still gonna talk to my pr promoter, ask him if it's gonna be on TV for my supporters, maybe who can make it to Wemdi Stadium. Yeah. So I have a nice fight in mind, and uh, and I'm interested to see what you think. Roman Gonzalez versus Maurizio Mtsilone in Las Vegas. How does that sound? If I mean, surely that's the fight you gotta be aiming for. Mm. Right now, like uh, uh, Gonzalez lost uh, in his last fight against a guy from Thailand, but uh, his uh, junior bantam is no longer flyweight. But if that chance can come, oh, I'll move up the division and go to mm. his weight and fight him. Everybody likes to fight uh, a top uh, pound for pound boxer in the world. So I'll be very much happy if that. Uh, if I can get that opportunity, I will take with both hands. Yeah, looks, yeah. Uh, it looks like a lot of people are saying that Gonzalez got robbed in that fight and it looks like there's going to be a rematch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's more likely if he wins that you'll go up because he's going to have to win his title back. Because there's got to be something in it for you to be going up. Mm, yeah, I think uh, I didn't watch the fight. Actually, it wasn't on our TV. I would like yeah. to watch it. But I had so many people complain that uh, Roman Gonzalez have been, has been dropped on, on that fight. I think uh, if he can get uh, a, a rematch, I think he can win his fight back. It's a tight it back, yeah. And um, would you like to take the opportunity to thank fans, sponsors, or any other relative parties? Mm, yeah, of course. Uh, I would like to thank to all my supporters especially from KZN, mm, they're always behind me when I fight. Like I said, I'm fighting next month to those who will able to make it, to come to Johannesburg at Wembley Stadium. I would like to thank them if they can make it to come and support. And uh, those who are around Houting also, please guys, come and support me. I won't disappoint you like I, I've never disappointed you before. So I'm looking forward uh, to, to defend my title. Yeah. And uh, I would like to thanks to my sponsors, uh, uh, Jason Lobel of Telsteel. Thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate your help. You make sure that uh, 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 everything goes well to my boxing career. I appreciate your help, brother. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Marisi, for coming on. Eh? Okay, thank you, my brother. Sweet.